It was the worst crime I've ever seen. I've been on the job for over 20 years, and I had never seen a killer operate like this. A young girl has been brutally murdered here in City Park. Police are being tight-lipped about many details, but here's what we know so far. Well, we got the first call Sunday morning. 11-year-old girl, she was stabbed to death in the park. Hey, it was my uh, first big case as a detective and seeing that girl lie there. Uh, it's an image that will always be in my memory. We really thought the first girl might have been a domestics case. We had no idea what was about to take place and how bad it was going to get. But the very next day, Monday morning, a patrolman finds another body on the way to work. This guy left a body, a body behind the police station. This girl was older, in her teens. She never even made it to the bus stop. Now there were no cameras facing that part of the parking lot. There's just a dumpster there. I never would have thought that he would have dumped the body right where cops parked their cars. Then the coroner tells us that those two girls were killed by the same knife. The chief of police and coroner's office have revealed the body found outside the police department and the body of Brittany Workman found in the park yesterday are connected. We understand the latest victim is 15-year-old Katie Sakaro. She's a sophomore at Cherokee High. All of a sudden, we're in a real mess. She was Look so here. good at great sound. It's going to be in a good exclusive hey. story for us. Yeah, hold on for a second. What's up? I'm sick of you making TV stars out of important people in my case. I mean, come on, detective. I mean, the old lady asked for us specifically. She wanted us to get the story out. I mean, to help you guys out, to find the person who did this. And it was some good, great stuff, this lady said. Great stuff. There, She said the guy slashed her. And then she said, you know, she just had to lay there, pretend like she was dead. It was great stuff. I couldn't believe it. If she didn't have this episode, I mean, we'd have better sound than what we have. But, you know, it's great exclusive for us on Channel 11. So, you know. I'm glad that's so great. I should have you locked up for even thinking that. I mean, we're reporters. It's freedom of speech. We can do it. Freedom of Happy speech. Happy locked up. Great. And I'm going to need that tape. Then subpoena it. You can have it after we make deadline. A Channel 11 exclusive right now. The last words of the fourth victim and hear a vivid description of her attacker who ultimately killed her. Four bodies in three days. This killer was out of control and we were getting nowhere. No leads, no clues, nothing. The national news and cable networks came everywhere and they started calling him the Cherokee County serial killer. People just started getting scared. And in this town, when they get scared, they load their guns and lock their doors. Gentlemen, you're late. This is everything we've got so far. We're still waiting for information from the county. No, we have nothing new. All right, meet the task force. You already know Ryder. This is Chief Boyd with SLED. This is Agent Odell with the FBI. We've got to find this serial killer. Otherwise, what little bit of livelihood left in this town after the mill's closed is going to be gone. So we've got a second-hand description from a dying lady and half a vehicle description on this guy. And that's it? That's fucking it. We've been up all night long working our asses off on this. This is what we got. He's right, you've got nothing. Nothing's in here. The Peach Festival is three weeks from today. The 4th of July celebration is three weeks from today. And we've got nothing. This town depends on those tourism dollars. We need the tourism dollars. People are dying in this town, and she's worried about tourist dollars. You know, that money keeps your ass employed, Farley. Just give me some goddamn results. They're putting that little girl up in the ground today. The parents shouldn't have to be going through that. I'm trying to solve this case for them, not for you and your damn tourist dollars. You can fire them if you want. I'm trying to take care of them, not you and your tourist dollars. For them. We were tired. We were angry. We were stretched so thin, even though we had every agency we can think of working on this case. Uh, we're having our doubts, but having all those eyes everywhere seemed to finally pay off. Anything new? Gaffney Police. Here goes that. Gaffney Police. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we'll have a patrol unit out there right away. Davidson, Farley. We got a 20 on our suspect. We just got a call of the saying he may be armed and he may have a woman captive.
I know I shouldn't have let you guys call the shots in there. Listen, buddy, you might file the fives on this, but this is still our case. Did anybody get a look at this guy's face? Not a goddamn glimpse. You? Nothing. Just his back going away. We live in a small town. Everybody knows everybody. Right now, nobody trusts anybody. It was another long day for law enforcement trying to catch the man FBI is calling a serial killer before he claims another victim. Tonight, we have a sketch of the man. Take a good look at it. Here's the latest sketch from SLED. We also have a new profile from Quantico. We think he's been under a lot of stress, and that stress led to murder fantasies. He started with a young girl because he wasn't sure of himself. He needed a victim he could overpower. He became more violent, stronger, you could argue, as he moved from teenager to woman to his latest, a male victim. It's great that you guys know all this stuff, but how's that gonna help us catch anybody? The third and fourth victim in this horrifying murder spree were laid to rest today. A mother and daughter, two generations of educators who have taught many people in this community. We don't feel safe in our own homes anymore. Tonight, six families, everyone in this community, and millions watching this story unfold on national networks are praying for an end of terror. He's in there. That's our guy. It's an hit. One on the ground. It's Lose sight of him. Hired the police to crash. All right, I want this done quickly. Let's get this guy processed, and we're going straight to the media on this. He ain't bleeding. What? Why is that a problem? We shot him. That's not the right suspect. We hit our guy with a blood trail. That guy's in perfect health. Why can't we catch this guy so we can all go home? I know. I want to come home too, baby, but I can't. I want you to pack a bag and go see your sister in Charlotte, okay? Even I don't feel safe. Listen, I can't be there to protect you, let alone protect our baby. Yeah? She's still up there kicking, huh? I miss you guys. Brother, can you give me anything? 
you guys gonna give us some help? No, that didn't pay out. That didn't pay out. I know who he is. What? I know who he is. Call the squad. Get him ready. Okay. We're gonna need all tactical teams in place. We got him pinned this time. Detective Davidson, what is your point? With Alpha Team, we're leaving the house now. Well, I'm at your house, sir. There's a problem here. Oh my god, Dara. There's a note here. Let's go. I know where he's taking her. Another mile or so. It's up ahead. Oh, no. Is that her? Yeah, it's her. Whatever it takes, I'm gonna save them and end this.